Hello everyone, welcome to your daily read on Monday the 11th of December 2023. I'll be doing our read from the Ride Away original tarot deck conceived by A. White and designed by Pamela Coleman Smith. I've been using these, I have a little secret to tell you. Is it next week? Next week and the week after, I might be using a different deck, definitely the week after which is a Christmas week. I will be using another deck. It's not a tarot deck. It's an oracle deck inspired by the tarot decks. I'm going to be doing that one. But I will be having these cards as well because they don't seem to want to leave us. Um, I'm going to be getting, as we're getting closer to Christmas, and it's the 11th of December, I'm going to get more and more sparkly as we go along. Because it's Christmas and Christmas is all about sparkliness. And whether you celebrate or not, it's a lovely time for giving. And that's this is my way of giving. Okay, we're going to get three cards for our readings for today. We're going to get hey, the energy of the day. And I can get it. That's the angels for the energy of the day. For the 11th of December, 2023. They won't give me a card, that is. So what they're doing, they just see my face, my funny face. And I think your little face just shot up there as well. But I wasn't quite sure because I may have got that wrong. And the problem, if there is one, there isn't always a problem. Sometimes we find that the day is actually just a very general day. Normally they are general days. And to be fair to you guys, we're in a lot of celebration mode at the moment. So it could be that they're just celebratory cards. <laughs> and if we can get the solution of the day, if we need one, that is. But I mean, it's nice to have a card, even if it isn't a solution, right? Let's see what we get. They are taking their time giving me these cards today. I called them in, asked them to work with us, and they are taking their time. Let's see. Okay, let's see what we have got for the energy of the day. Let's see. So we've got the Magician card for the energy of the day. That's a lovely card, Major Arcana card. Um, really good for the energy of the day because the ma Magicians it's, it's, it's very self-explanatory, really. Um, it's the alchemical process between the wands, the, the um, cups, the pentacles, and the swords. It's the ability to transform, transmute, and rearrange everything that's come before. Okay? So if you don't know what I'm talking about, have a look at all the other readings and look at where we've had the suits and ask yourself what it means. Because this card has come in today on the 11th of December with the energy that you can transform things. You can do them in a magical, alchemical way. Now, I always point this out when we get the Magician card. This isn't from the angels. This is something I see. But the eight above is the infinity symbol above the Magician's head. It's in that kind of energetic vibration of soul mastery soul connection soul evaluation connecting into spirit to your own dharma your own fate that kind of thing anything else you want to give me angels with regard to this card you can be the master of your ship this you are you are the conductor of this if you look at the magician there it looks like he's holding a baton there and it's like he's the master of the ship he's the conductor he is actually orchestrating everything that is going to happen in his life. The angels are saying, you are the co-creators. They're literally saying to me right here, they're going, you guys are the co-creators. You are the ones that make your life. You are the ones that create the journey. The energy of the day is to step into our chemical process, to begin to create what you can. You can grow beauty from nothing. That's exactly what they're showing me. The other thing they're saying to me to say, and it's um, quite... Um, a pertinent fact we have been in quite a restrictive energy astrologically for 15 years some of you may have really felt it i have so i know it's real okay 15 years we've been in a 15 year restrictive um kind of season okay like a wintering almost of the human race in january 2024 we are about to start moving out of that. by the end of January we're out of it it does come back a little bit towards the end of the year but it's only for a little while and then it's gone again 2025 complete re revolution realization new people power all that kind of thing comes in but we're going into it in January the restriction lifts I mean it lifts 
and you're going to be able to see where you want to go and what you're meant to be doing. This is why I've been cautioning a little bit of weight because your energy is still fused with the old energy, the restrictions from the 15 years. So what you're being asked to do is take this alchemy and understand it so that you can use it. It's like you're learning to use the wand, yeah? Learn to use the wand. And then when you get to January 2024, You'll know how to do it. You'll know, yeah? That's the energy. It's good energy. It's good energy for the 11th of December. So let's see what the problem is for this day. Um, okay, this, this makes a lot of sense, actually, because we've got the moon card, and we've got the new moon in Sagittarius tomorrow on the 12th of December. Um basically the problem is, is is simple and it's not a problem it's 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 the energy it's the vibration and, and that's probably why with this um magician card i explained that stuff about the astrology but yeah this is about that dark we're going into that dark cocoon like space for a few weeks so because of that dark cocoon like space you're being asked not to do anything too crazy also going into mercury retrograde on wednesday so there's a lot going on this week watch that 12 12 gateway new moon mercury retrograde all happening <laughs> all happening remember Merc mercury retrograde doesn't mean don't start anything it just means be careful if you're starting something um, I, I personally don't like to, but it, but it's what you personally feel and how strong you are in your capabilities, okay? But yeah, this is just literally, there's not a problem as such. It's a dark space for you to move into so that you feel that you can come out replenished when you get into 2024. That's what they're saying to me. That's what is, that's, it's, it's important, okay? It's like, they're saying to me that when you do that, you're gonna feel so much better because you, by taking that time, allowing yourself to cogitate, to think on what you want. It's a new moon, so you can ask what you want. You can bring it into your energy field. You can ask the universe what it is. Um, you can set your intentions. You can make a plan, but it's a plan over that two weeks. So you, you know. Okay, and then you're coming out of the new moon, you're going to get into the release phase, you'll release anything you don't need, so then you can use that plan, yeah? Okay, so let's see what the solution is, because really, to be honest, I didn't think that was much of a problem anyway. Oh, it's really funny, you've got two cards, <laughs> but the really funny thing about it was, <laughs> what did I just say, go into the cocoon space, da 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 da, and you got the hermit, and the hermit is all about solitude, taking space for yourself, another major arcana here. Actually, you've had three major arcanas, haven't you? You've got the Magician, the Moon, and the Hermit. So you've got these three major arcanas. They're, they're strong messages then, okay? So you're being asked to, yeah, take that solitude, allow the light. Because basically, what they're saying here, the angels are saying here, is you're going into the dark moon. The new moon is a dark moon. It's the dark moon because it's not the illuminated moon. The full moon is the bright moon, okay? Although that's when it wanes and this is when it waxes, okay? But what they're saying to me to say is that go into that solitude for a while so that the light can come up, start coming up and show you the way, okay? You're not going to start that journey until you've got some light. You don't want to be plodding around in the dark and falling about all over the place, okay? And the other card is the Knight of Swords. Makes sense, makes sense. So then when you've done this, you can then rage forward and cut away anything that you don't need and move into the next space and let the illumination of the full moon show you your direction the full moon's on the 20 oh, i think it's on the 27th 27th of december and then that takes you into january with a plan knowing what you're doing yeah and it's january anyway so you should have a plan <laughs> so there you go my lovelies if you are new to this channel and you haven't seen me before and you do like it please subscribe and join me and hit the notification bell so you know when these videos are coming out it has been my pleasure to do this for you i'm sending you so much love for this december the 11th 2023 lots of love namaste everyone have a beautiful beautiful monday lots of love kisses bye bye see you tomorrow bye don't know why i'm whispering because no one's here <laughs>